Well, hello everyone, it's Brad with Clarity again, and we have the honor of sitting here with Mr. Ring of Ring Brothers, and we are gonna talk a little bit about social media. We're not gonna talk too much about cars, which is kind of odd for you, isn't it? It is odd, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the end of uh, 2017 SEMA, and it's been all cars. <laughs> so, yesterday we were in a Hot Rod Association panel with you and, and listened to you, and you indicated how important social has become to your business and, and kind of bringing on the passion of of the next generation. Tell me a little bit about when you guys realized that social should be a part of kind of your overall business model. Yeah, well, I gotta tell you, we, we were pretty late in the game. I mean, social's been around, uh, we didn't pick up on it till probably five years ago that <laughs> how important it was. And I'll tell you, it, it was truly important. I mean, it got us to be able to reach out and find people and have people find us that we'd never have the opportunity right. to, to get. Yep. Um, you know, and, and that includes all over the world. I mean, we've got customers from London, England. We've got a customer from Russia. Uh, you can't get that without social media. Right, and it just helps you spread your message and what you're doing and yep. your passion for cars because you guys are very unique in what you do. Yep. And you guys talked about that yesterday about how it's your kind of model and what you do. So you realize that, and then what did you start doing? Did you just jump in there full-fledged, or did you like, hey, what do we do with this stuff? You know, it was way, honestly, way over our head. We had to hire a company to yep. do it. Our sales went up. Uh, everything about it was good. Today, I don't know how you could be without it. Yeah, and so let's talk about that. So here we are. It's not a typical business. We heard that also in the seminar. Yeah. I don't use social. I don't use social. And then here's the Ring Brothers using socials. How has it influenced business? You know, from a from a standpoint of because you guys do a lot. You don't yep. just build cars. You yep. do parts and yep. and some we, other things. We so, also do collision work. Yeah. So how does that how does that affected your overall business? It's tremendously. Like I said, you get customers that you could never get without it, and it right. also allows uh, people to really show them what you're doing. Um, uh, the followers we have right now, I mean, I, I don't even know the exact numbers, a couple hundred thousand Facebook fans, right. which uh, yep. that's a couple hundred thousand people. That's that's a lot of audience for uh, just kind of starting out into this. Yeah, and you never know which one's going to call that, pick you up the phone know. and call you and say, hey, man, I really liked what you did. Can yep. you do that for me? Yeah. So let's talk about what you are doing. How do you use, let's say, Facebook or, or social media now in kind of keeping that connection with your customers and your fan base? I think just showing everybody what we're doing, you know, from start to finish is a, is a big part of that, yeah. you know. It's one thing to show somebody a final product, but it gets them engaged when you're showing them little pieces here and, and making them wait for the final, yeah. you know, the final ending. So it makes them a part of it, right? It does, make, brings them around, makes them sure. a part of the build, part of the process, and it's, uh, I think it's exciting. Yeah, I think it is too. It's and they are killing it on social. So if you guys are into cars and like custom builds, get over here and, and watch these guys because they're doing a great job. Hey, thanks for your time. I You're really welcome. appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. And uh, congratulations on the on everything. Appreciate that. All thanks. right.